if hell but scorned women, and if the love of female flesh is morally bankrupt, then I guess I better hurry up and get off this microphone, go home and pack my bags for the fire and brimstone, wow. because I am in a zone. What? I am in a zone. I am in a zone so far past the ozone, but I'm headed at light speed for the nose zone, sinking deeper into the fiery depths of my naivety into a shallow grave of my own with 36 hypocritical preachers preaching bullshit like they don't know what goes on. They say, behold your soul, salon so AC in a hotel with no clothes on, in a hot tub with holes in it. It's a beautiful queen on this planet there, but you can choose your own. And I said, well, I saw nothing, which is why I kept looking for a new tomb like my original tomb which was my mother's womb and I have no concept of impending doom. Heaven was between her thighs and I loved it there. That was my original sin and ever since then I've been fighting to find my way back in. I want my ending to be just like my beginning so if the love of female flesh is morally bankrupt when I was born. Yeah. Cult. Cult of divinity, oh, divine serenity has entered me like a virus, you Isis, my Osiris. I was taught that there was nothing but emotional suffering. Nappy dugout crush, clit sucking. Anything goes like the world of amateur pornos. Don't let them hugs. Nah. Just fuck. Never trust them. And if you bust some fucking your best friend, don't even act surprised. Just close your eyes and join in. After all, she's just trying to get hers. And y'all, y'all just represent men. In the end, nobody wins. You might not pay for a piece, but you shall pay for peace. So until you die, tap every fat ass that'll let you try. Kill my son. <laughs> it's full of weed. Cult of divinity, yo. Divine serenity has me believing that you hold the remedy for my womanizing tendencies. That you can help me stop my horrorous ways. Statistics show that the black family in America was at its strongest point immediately following the slave trade. The impregnating bucks appreciated the gift that God gave. Once they started a family, they never let the motherfuckers get away. No, they worked night and day. No matter what happened, those strong black men they never strayed. But my father, what? but my father, what? he was ghost. He wasn't ever no slave, nah. except maybe a slave to pussy. Mm -hmm. And in the 70s, there was just too much sex for that black man to lean on. Mm -hmm. Too many brothers never made it back from the Depression, World War II, and Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Too many brothers never made it back from free base and crack and shooting heroin in their arms. Mm -hmm. Too many brothers never made it back from them black exploitation flicks, which is to say, too many brothers never made it back from thinking it was cool to be a pimp and thinking a woman as a bitch. Too many brothers never made it back from the civil rights movement when all the black doctors and black lawyers and boulets and Jack and Jill's integrated right out of the black neighborhoods and the only money left to proliferate was from them shady characters up to no good and even as a young boy growing up in the 70s I understood that there was nothing readily available to us that could alleviate our apathy and fight the way that sex could. Mm. And at five years old, my first four pieces of slang was coochie, ding a chain, and gang. And when I was older, and that Black Student Association, in college we knew we were supposed to have sex lined up for them fake ass black revolutionary speakers whenever they came. And when I got even older, I would sit in the bars with the 50 year old sugar daddies and they would tell me, young man, young man you will never, never escape, escape this, game. this game. Sex will sex always, always hold more promise for the black man in America than even knowing his own damn name. Cult of divinity, oh, divine serenity has me essentially going insane. I want to inhale your soul through my nostrils and let your essence circulate through my veins. I want to let your intellect caress my brain. I want your 360 degrees to become part and parcel of my circumference. I want my only throne to be between your thighs. And whenever I'm there, I'll bring it live from 1865. When strong black men knew that sex is absolutely spiritual. Sex is absolutely divine. Sex is absolutely in tune with the universe. When sex is absolutely shared with someone that you are absolutely faithful to. And on, and on, and on Benjamin Banneker, sun, moon, and stars, I swear, that as long as I got you, I gotta know.